In the gentle warmth of a Galilean morning, Jesus descended from the mountain, his presence a beacon to the multitudes that trailed behind, their hearts filled with anticipation and awe. Among the crowd, a figure emerged, burdened with the affliction of leprosy. His eyes, heavy with suffering, found Jesus. Kneeling before him, the leper's voice trembled with hope. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Moved by compassion, Jesus reached out, his touch breaking centuries of stigma and isolation. I am willing, be cleansed, he declared. At his words, the leprosy vanished, a miracle unfolding under the morning sun. As the leper departed, reborn, Jesus' journey continued to Capernaum. Here, a Roman centurion, a man of war, approached with a plea not for himself, but for his ailing servant. His humility shone through his words. Lord, I am not worthy for you to enter my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. Jesus, marveled by such faith in a land foreign to it, proclaimed, Go your way, as you have believed, so let it be done for you. The servant miles away found healing in that very instant. Upon entering Peter's home, Jesus encountered another need for his touch. Peter's mother-in-law lay feverish and weak. Jesus held her hand, and the fever left her, a testament to his healing grace. As dusk embraced the land, many came with demons and sicknesses, and Jesus, through his word, brought liberation and healing, fulfilling the ancient words of Isaiah. Yet, amidst these miracles, Jesus spoke of the cost of discipleship. To a scribe aspiring to follow him, he spoke of a life without earthly shelter. To another, he emphasized the urgency of the kingdom over earthly duties. His words, sharp and profound, cut to the heart of what it meant to be his disciple. The Sea of Galilee, often a place of tranquility, became a stage for another demonstration of his power. A fierce storm raged, threatening the disciples' boat. Jesus, roused from sleep, rebuked the wind and waves, and all was calm. The disciples, awestruck, pondered the nature of a man who commanded even nature. Across the sea, in the region of the Gergesenes, Jesus encountered a different storm. Two demon-possessed men, tormented and feared, confronted him. At Jesus' command, the demons fled into a herd of swine, which then plunged into the sea. The people of the region, witnessing this, were overcome not by awe, but by fear, and they begged Jesus to leave. Through each encounter, from the leper to the demon-possessed men, Jesus revealed facets of his mission. Healer, teacher, savior, and master over nature and the spiritual realm. Each miracle, each word, wove into the unfolding tapestry of a story that would forever alter the course of history.